Hey everyone, what's up? And thank you for watching our channel, Lies on Drone Quadcopters. And today, we're going to walk you through the complete setup of the Femi X8 SE 2020. So stay tuned. Welcome back and for those of you who are new to the channel I'd like to thank you for subscribing now I know all of you are here because you want to see the complete process of setting up the Femi X8 SE so we'll just jump right into it so let's get started okay guys here you have it here's the Femi X8 SE and what you see here is what you'll get out of the box you'll get a you'll get a manual okay um, you'll get the controller you get your charging brick you get your power cable you get three USB cables and you get six propellers um, very nice drone guys very well made it's got some good weight to it um, it feels very high quality um, and it feels like you're getting a, a 800 price tag on this drone for half the cost I think it's wonderful and um, they did a well uh, they did a very good job with this here's the front of the drone right here here's your camera it's a three axis gimbal uh, it shoots in 4k and it shoots in 2.7k and it shoots in 1080 and 720p here's the bottom of the drone they put down aluminum plating here on the bottom for heat sink, you got an ultrasonic sensor there, and you have your optical flow here. Okay, you have some some ventilation going up here. You have some ventilation down there, and you have some ventilation here in the back. Now, the proper way of opening up this drone is you want to start out by opening up the back first, and go forward, and then front to back, and then you want to go back forward and then front to back just like so and it's got a really nice click to it okay and also you have you have indicator lights here and you have indicator lights there and then you have an indicator light in the back so again very well made and now let's put this down and let's just get let's get to the uh, controller guys here is the controller very well made as well uh, you have a a silicone uh, padding here you got silicone grip here in here and a silicone grip padding there and you have your sticks just like how the DJI has it let's get the sticks out show you how to do that now let's grab this and let's show you how to properly install the, the sticks you want to put them in like so in here and you want to turn them like like that grab the other one and you want to install it like, like so. And you want to turn it like that. And there you go, you're all set. Um, here are your antennas. You can move it forward and back. Um, feels very good in the hands, guys. I really love this controller. A lot of people like this controller because of the design. It's very well made. Um, you can put any size phone in here and you can put a tablet an eight inch tablet in here as well um here is your um your uh, home button here this is your home button here and this is your return to home button here is your power button here and here is your five directional button here you can go up down left right and you can push it that's five directional here's your your um your takeoff button and landing button here and of course here are your, your joysticks and here is your your um, EV value wheel here and then here is your um, gimbal wheel here okay now in the back we have a bu button A that's for your photo um, snapshot and this is for your record button that's button B okay 
So here is the back. Here is where the here's the back door where you install your USB cable to your phone, and that's about it, guys. I like this a lot. So there are there is your 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 transmitter. Uh, they also give you a battery. Okay, got some weight to it. Um, once again, here are your clips. This is how you install your battery onto the quadcopter. Now to check the battery to. Um, just hold it and it'll give you the amount of battery level okay that's how much battery level you have just by pressing it and the proper way of installing this battery is that you want to take your quadcopter and you want to just put it in like so here's the back of it you want to put it in like so and you want to make sure that you snap down on it and hear that snap just like so okay now we're going to get into how to install your props and here's how you install your props i can't stress this enough guys i highly suggest that when you do install your props you get the props on while you're doing your initial setup because if you do um you may accidentally press a button and start the motors on your quadcopter and it's for uh, it could cause it could cut you you can do some damage so um it's for a safety precaution it's for your own good guys so do not do not install the props while you're doing the initial setup okay you want to install your props last while you're going out to do your first flight so what you want to do is you want to match this you want to match this marking here with this marking there and you want to install your props this way now the, the proper way of installing your props is that you want to hold the motor and you want to take the um, take the propeller, and you want to push. You want to push down on it and turn. And then all you have to do is check it and make sure that it's in properly. Let's do the other one. You want to take this one, and you want to match it up with this one here. So you want to hold the 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 motor. You want to take your prop, you want to push down on it, and you want to turn it, and then check it, make sure that it's securely in, okay? There you go, guys. That's the proper way of installing your props. Now, let's get into the next step, where I show you on how to properly charge your battery. Okay, here's what you do, guys. Here's the battery. You want to take the battery, you want to take your charging brick, and you want to match this with this here so you want to just put it in like so and you just want to hold it in plug it in and you're ready to go now let's get into the controller guys and how to set up your controller and your phone um you want to take your your phone here you want to take your phone just like so and you want to find the proper USB cable to use. Mine's a USB-C. So I take my USB-C and just install it like that. Just like so. Put it this way. Now the proper way of doing this guys, here's the quad, uh, here's the transmitter. You see that slit right there on the bottom? You just want to install it like that. You want to hold your phone and then you want to open your phone up and just install it like so. You take your cord here, you push it in just like that it hides the cable and you want to open up the back door of your transmitter and install your USB and there okay and that's it and you are ready to go now I'm gonna show you how to install the Femi Navi app and show you the proper way of pairing up the controller with the drone and getting the Femi Navi app started and doing your initial calibration so let's get started here Let's grab the drone. Okay, here's the drone. So let's get started here. So what you do, guys, is you wanna always, you always wanna power up your controller first, and then you wanna power up your drone second. So the proper way of doing this, guys, is you just want to, you wanna press once and hold, and then you hear a beep, and then you'll see your, your red lights flashing. And you see your red lights flashing here okay now once 
once the, the, the transmitter has binded with the drone, your red lights that are flashing will turn solid white here and here. Okay, let's power up the drone. You want to press just like the DJI, just like I did with the controller, guys. You want to press once and then hold. And then you'll see your you'll see your indicator lights start flashing. You have red and green, and then you have the back indicator light flashing there. Now, right now, the drone will pair up with the transmitter, and then you'll see that this will turn solid white. As you can see, this has turned as you can see this has turned solid white and this will turn solid white in just a second. As you can see it has just turned solid white and now we're ready for the next step. Here's a Fimi Navi app 2020. You want to register and sign in, so we'll do that. We're going to register and sign in. You have officially logged in. Now, guys, what you want to do is you want to enter the device. There you go, you're in, and you'll see a video screen up and running. As you can see, here is my hand and ready to go. Now, the next step is we're going to get into the calibration of your quadcopter. Now, you always want to calibrate um, before your first flight. So you only want to do a compass calibration when you travel and change locations. But if you're going to stick to the same location, you don't always have to um, keep uh, doing the calibration okay so now let's get started let's get into the uh, top right hand corner there on the settings menu that wheel you want to press that you'll get your first initial um, you, you'll get your menu here at the top left corner you see the drone symbol on the top you want to click on that and you'll see um, your first step here you want to go you'll see your menu pull up here and then you want to go where it says compass calibra calibration you want to click on that okay um, I'm not going to get into all the other features guys I'll be showing you guys that in part two where we're going to dive deep into the Femi Navi app and show you all the features and its functions okay so stay tuned to part two in the next video okay um, we're going to go here and it says keep the you want to make sure that you do keep the drone away from any metal or strong interference guys i highly suggest that you take off your watches um anything metal nearby you don't want to do this where there's near where you're near metal any or any magnet interference so um let's do that let's get so let's get into the calibration so let's you want to click on calibrate and it says to move the drone around this way so you want to go like like so you want to turn the drone like so and then it says move it now go up vertical and hold the drone you want to rotate it until the lights go out there you go now it says on your screen that you have successfully calibrated and that it's successful and you want to click oh you want to click OK. Now you want to back out of that and then you're all set. Now let's get into the um, the next one down that is the transmitter. Okay on top says on top there it says RC calibration. So in order to do the RC calibration guys, you want to power down your drone, so your drone has to be completely powered down. Okay, and you want to do the RC calibration. So what you do is you click on calibration, and here it says the RC, here you are, you're in the RC calibration. Now what you do is you're going to move your dial sticks and check the uh, check if the showing movement on the app matches the real movement and if not please recalibrate so 
this is what you do guys press start and it's here you hear a beep it says keep the, it's figuring out the center point so now you want to push the sticks up together down together left together right and you're all done with that then you want to go into your wheel and you want to go all the way up here and all the way down and then you're all set it'll, it'll tell you that it's successful you want to click OK and then you're done with that now after that guys you can power up your drone okay and you want to check the IMU so what you do is you want to click maintenance mode okay now you see on top it says uh, drone body sensor you want to click on that and you want to do uh, an IMU check make sure it's all, all good it says please keep the drone stable and place it on a level surface guys and let it do its thing so what you want to do is you want to press OK so right now it is checking for um, the IMU it's calibrating the IMU it's checking for the keep it leveled there so there you you did the IMU check and it says the IMU is normal so we're good to go press OK move out of there and then you have your gimbal sensors and all that I don't touch that because see you're ready to fly and that's it guys well that does it and hopefully you got some value out of it if you're interested in more drone videos like this on drone tutorials reviews and aerial footage please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future content and also smash that like button and we'll see you guys in the next video take care and fly safe